How can you split a string into individual roles? One role for each character in SQL Server. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So here we've got a string. This is my string with certain spaces. What I want to do is separate it into individual roles. So one row per character. So if you'd like to do this as a practice activity, then you'll find this code in the description to this video. Good luck. Well, the first thing I want to do is be able to have a numbered list, 1 to 17. Now, to create a numbered list, the easiest way in SQL Server is to use a system object. So I'm going to use sys.object. So I'm going to say select star from sys.objects. And this just happens to go down to row 133 on my version. It might be different in your version. So what I'm going to do is get the row number for this table. So I do that using row underscore number, open bracket and close bracket or parentheses, and then the word over and open bracket. And then I need an order by. So what do I want to order by? I want to order by, let's say, the object ID. It really doesn't matter. All I need is a valid field. So if I run this statement, you can see that this gives me the numbers 1 through to 133, which is all I need from this table. So now I've got this number. What I can use is a function to extract, say, the fifth character. And that function is substring. So if I say substring, open brackets, my string, I want that particular character. And how many characters do I want to extract? Just the one. So I'm going to call this one character. So let's run this. And now we can see we've got this space is space my space string. So how do we stop all of this? In other words, we're going to continue until row 133. I just wanted to stop at character number 17. Well, let's explore various ways that you might be able to do this. First of all, let's have a where. So where this row number, and I'm just going to hard call this figure for now, is less than 18. Well, if I run this, you'll see that the windowed functions, such as row number, can only pay in the select or order by clause. So that's not going to help. The general way that I use windowed functions is with a with. So I say with a name of a table I'm just going to make up as open bracket, close bracket. And then afterwards, I select star from the name of the table that I've made up. So this temporarily saves this query into a name called my table, which I can then manipulate. Now, one important thing with with statements, you have to have a semicolon immediately before it, if you've got any additional code. So if I run this, you can see we've got exactly the same answer as before. If I run this without the semicolon, you can see incorrect syntax. So I need that semicolon. So now I've got this, how can I isolate everything that's just here. Well, one way is to say where one character is not null. So let's see if that works. The answer is no, unfortunately, that doesn't work. Okay, how about where one character is not equal to an empty string? Now that does work, but that also gets rid of the valid spaces. The reason for this is because this comparison removes any trailing spaces. And if it's just a space, then remove a trailing space from a string, which is just a space that gives you an empty string. Okay. How about if we say where len of one character is equal to one? Unfortunately, this gives the same result because len also removes trailing spaces. So one solution that works is not to use len, but data length. So where the data length is greater than zero, data length does not remove trailing spaces. So let's execute this. And now you can see we have got our finished result. 
What other ways could there be? Well, let's have this row number as a separate item. So why not just have row number in the wave? So this is my row number. And then we have the substring here. So give me the substring of my string based on my row number, which is part of the with, comma one. And I'm going to get rid of this where for now. I'm going to say as one character. So this gives me exactly where we were before, except I've got access to my row number. So now I can use the where and say where my row number is less than or equal to the length of my string. So in other words, if the row number is eight, then that's less than the length of my string, which is about 17. Whereas if we've got 19, that's greater than that. So let's execute that. And you can see that gives me the same thing. Now, which of these two approaches do I prefer? I prefer the first one with the data length. The reason for this is we might be doing this for more than one string. Data length has a look at the end result, and if there is nothing there, then it removes that regardless of which particular string we are looking at. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if there are elements of this which are new, like for instance, the with, or the window function row number, and you'd like to learn more about this, then please have a look at our Udemy course. So in querying Microsoft SQL Server with TSQL, we'll have a look at ranking functions such as row number, rank, dense rank, and entile, analytic functions such as lag, lead, first value, and last value, and common table expressions using the with statement. There will be a link to the course in the description to this video. If you like this video, then please click the like, and why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. If you've got any suggestions for other practice activities or other videos, then please put them in the comments to this video. If you'd like more practice activities, then please click on the link on the end screen. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.